what's up guys i'm back uh today let's repair a tv problem with this tv it's a uh, sansui tv 32 inch i can't bring the tv to the desk because as you know the desk is too small so i did took the board out and the power button or power board uh, the problem is if you press the power button just go like that and stays red no green light so the tv is not coming on we will check this board together okay okay <clears throat> let's see what is going on this is definitely not a tv that is dead because it has the lights on um let's check on this capacitor what is the voltage there oh, no, no, no. 318 volt so that circuit on the high side it's working as you can see the voltage is boosting right I saw some tricks and tips I'm going to try to use them first things we're gonna have a look on the voltage okay right. so this wire is giving me a problem so does the power cable right there are some points um, it's a nice thing about this board is all those uh, test point what do you call they they are marked what voltage should be there let's have a look together guys if i can zoom it a little bit but then the camera lose the focus okay i will tell you guys what should be where okay ground this point it's it's a written 0.5 volt look at the multimeter when i check we have 5 volt there and then here should be 12 volt we have 12 volt also there right the vcc the v core or vcc is nothing because i think it will only come on <coughs> when <clears throat> the tv is on then we will have the vcc so basically this tv is not coming on uh, there is a fault somewhere can be a capacitor um, that causing the power management chip not to switch on all the the power lines anyway but our basic voltage that 12 volt is present 5 volt is pre present now we should look for the 3 volt here should be also 12 volt we have 12 volt and 1.8 volt should be on this test point that one is missing i think here you guys can't see there is a point here that should be 1.8 volt that is missing let's see there should be a 5 volt we have the 5 volt i did check a bit earlier somewhere was a 1.8 volt here is 1.1 volt you can see there is 1.1 volt so we have 1.1 volt only voltage that is missing is the 1.8 volt that one doesn't have <clears throat> i believe this tv when on the standby all these marked voltage they should be present because um, all the points that is written the 12 volt is there the 5 volt is there 3.3 or 3 volt is also there you see all those points this is a 3.3 volt test point is also there this pin should be a 3 volt 
but it's only giving 1.3 volt. The other side must be a minus 3 volt giving 1.3 volt. So that can be also the problem. Here we have 3.3 volt. So only missing power rail is this 1.8 volt that is not present and this it can be when I switch on the TV it can be 3 volt but the point is it's written there there should be I think there should be a voltage even on standby mode 3 volt plus and 3 volt minus but there is only 1.5 volt now <coughs> Let's flip the board and have a look. Something that I noticed on this board, I'll show you guys. Um, this cap here, this one is, is it got a bump. I don't know if I can show you guys. Let's have a look. You can't see. It. Let me end. And before we go further, this one has a dent. I don't think it has a hole. I, I had a look on it. There is no hole, but it's it got a dent. So this two capacitor, I will definitely change. Um, that's one. Second, when I was trying to read the capacitors, all of them, I have a very big um, difference in reading on this capacitor which no not that one I think is this one this one is giving me a thousand something um, microfarad reading which is supposed to be around 470 microfarad and um, I think probably this one also giving me around thousand um, microfarad reading I'm going to check together with you guys um, but my question is why this 1.5 volt is miss uh, 1.8 volt is missing this one let's have a look there's two capacitors here one is this one is 400 and no 100 volt 47 microfarad and the next one is 330 microfarad 35 volt let's check 49 microfarad that's nearly close okay right next one should be 330 microfarad 380 so that is also good There is a small capacitor I can't really properly see but let's have a look what reading comes there. Hundred I think it's a hundred microfarad capacitor. I just want to double check. Thirty five volt I can see. Yes, it's a hundred microfarad. Okay. Let's check this one. You see, one thousand one hundred and thirty microfarad. Um, <clears throat> this reading, I believe, it's not right. It doesn't come down to forty-seven microfarad. Let's charge the micro uh, capacitor. 1,200, 1, nearly 1,300 microfarad. Then it's back to 1,117. Yes. So that's one capacitor is my concern. So now one, two, three, four. They are done. Let's uh, have a look on this one next to the big cap. Yeah, 
is a 10 microfarad 50 volts, the small one. It should be te around 10 microfarad. So we will check, take this one and have a look on that one also. Hold on guys. The big capacitor, I don't think there is any problem. Around 60 ohms. I can't properly see what ohms should it be. I can only see 400 volt. Um, only see 68 probably 68 microfarad this should be probably 68 microfarad yes it is going to 68 microfarad i think it's charging slowly very slowly right that's one out of the question and we'll check this too also right Look at that reading. One nanofarad, one nanofarad. Can see this one. Two nanofarad, one thousand one hundred and twenty microfarad. So we will have a look on this one also. Is this capacitor which has a Hole. Let me see if I can show you guys. See, there is a dent here. Uh, you can see there is a dent, right? And this one have a slight bump. It's not a lot, but it has a slight bump. So let's check this one also. Sorry, my probe is wrong. Two hundred microfarad. What is it written there? Two twenty. So I will also remove this because it's it should be somewhere around two twenty microfarad. Okay. Um, I hope I remember one, two, three. This and this one, and this one. Is it? So I will remove one, two three four one by one i'm going to replace them one by one check them and replace them one by one not all of them together okay that's gonna make me confused all right Okay, guys, I did remove the capacitor, but the reading of this capacitor is coming about 490 microfarad. But I, I will still change this capacitor just because it has a 501 microfarad, 588, so it's a five, 470 microfarad caps but have a look see so i will change this one with a new one i have similar one
Okay, guys, I did change three. The two, the one had a bump and one had a hole or a dent. That two is changed. And this one was giving us a weird uh, reading. That one I also changed. I think I'm going to, for now, I'm going to leave this three. Because this two is reading in my point of view. I think they are good. And this one also I think good. Uh, but let's let's test if the the if we can get the green light okay let's see if it's changed anything okay let's power it on this one's work is i think done I have kids in my house, my both kids, friends, they came to play. Oh, they are very busy. Right, let's plug it in. I hope nothing blows up. Okay, first things first, <laughs> safety first, fingers crossed guys, hope nothing blows up, okay, we're gonna have a boom or no boom, okay, good sign, no boom, no boom, let's try to switch it on, nothing, We have a blue light. Check. Uh, you see the blue light? Let me try to switch it off. And it's off. Let's try again. Switch it on. Blue light. With the remote, can we switch it on? Uh, where is the remote? Yeah, nothing blown. We are okay. I had the remote just now here. Hold on, let me pause and have a look for the remote. Still nothing blown up, coach. Ah, guys, still nothing blown up. Let's try the remote, as you can see. The TV is on currently, right? Red light, so TV is off. Blue light, TV is on. Still booting up, I think. Right. Uh, one more thing I would like to do. Let's have a look. Are uh, those voltages still present? Okay. Let's switch on the TV. And we will put the multimeter on voltage mode, DC. There was one was missing. We were missing 1.8 volt. Look at the multimeter. That 1.8 volt is present. If it's off, it's not present, right? So that 1. Point volt will come on when I put the TV on. Okay, um, I'm very hopeful that this TV is fixed. I'm going to pause the video and put everything back together on the TV and then I will show you guys if we have picture on the TV. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, this is Coach Bracky. Mr. Patrick. Also coach, our Coach Bracky. Coach Bragi, say hi. hi. You can switch it on. Look at the TV, guys. There you go. We have picture. And it goes to the main screen. You can switch it off. 
right i'm going to use the the the, the remote to switch it on oh the sensor is at the back of the tv right. eh? can you shift a little bit this side front so that i can get the sensor no 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 the tv push it in front yeah Put it down. TV, yeah. As the red light comes blue, show us. It's also working with the remote, right? I'm happy, I'm happy. We have picture. You can put it down again. Let me switch it off. If it switch off with the remote. There you go. Right. Thank you, Coach Braki. You can put it down now. I will put it back together just now. So I'm happy that TV is working. Um, I'm happy that cust I can help this customer. I will end this video now, right? Uh, as usual, uh, like and subscribe and share my channel's info to your friends and family. I really need subscribers. Uh, so I'll see you guys on the next video, okay? Goodbye.